Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. We're still in our backyard with the swimming pool and we've got five more levels to defend against the undead before they give up and start trying another way to enter the house, I guess. But, five more levels of pool time shenanigans. Let's get started right now. Back in Artie's backyard. This is what my actual backyard looks like, by the way. And this introduces a new zombie type right here. The Zomboni. Actually, this level technically introduces two new zombie types. I'll get more into that in a bit. But let's just say the Zomboni is probably one of the tougher zombie types that we've encountered thus far. He has a lot of HP, and he can one-hit kill all of his plant, all your plants just by running over them. So, we got, gotta have Sunflower, gotta have Lily Pad. Gotta have squash. We're also gonna take jalapeno because that's our new plant. No snorkel zombies, which is nice. We'll do snow pea repeater. Let's see what else. Uh, walnut's always good, and I guess cherry bomb. We got a lot of one-hit kill plants here, which will be nice because zombonies can be uh, quite a bit of a pain. Anyway, yeah. So jalapeno. That's a nice plant to have. It's again, it's basically cherry bomb, but it goes horizontally instead of in a free by free area. Very, very nice to have. Yeah, the Zombonies. They have, I think, about the same amount of HP that the football zombie has. And while they're not as fast as the football zombies, well, let's just say that uh, they can run over your plants and kill them in one hit. Also, one thing I don't think I've ever noticed until now, at least... I noticed it in the iPhone version, I didn't think it was in this PC version. They're down here, level 3-6, and it has this meter here. That meter shows you how close you are to the end of the level. Each of these brains associates with a different, a uh, huge wave of zombies. And I believe the zombie here at the end is one final huge wave. I could be wrong about that, though. So this lets us know that there are a couple of huge waves we'll have to deal with. going to be a pretty typical level, it looks like. Yeah, so there are actually two new zombie types on here, because, uh, the Zomboni has the potential to summon a new zombie type called the Bobsled Zombie. So the Zomboni not only will it one-hit kill all of your plants that it drives over, it also leaves a trail of ice behind. Uh... Any square that is covered in ice, you cannot put any plants there. And on top of which, if there's enough ice in a lane, that will summon a bobsled zombie, where it'll be three regular zombies in a giant bobsled that will quickly skid down all of the ice, and once the ice disappears, they lose their sled and then just pop out and start attacking in a trio of three. So it's in your best interest to deal with the zomboni before it can make too much ice. So one-hit kill plants, such as the squash, are very, very good for that. And, as it turns out, the jalapeno is also very good for that, because not only will one hit kill the zomboni, it'll also melt all of the ice in the lane. Now, I'll make sure to actually show off what happens if you let the bobsled zombies show up, because they are funny, but... If you're playing this on your own and you want to find a way to efficiently and effectively deal with the zombonies, squash as soon as possible so they don't leave any ice behind, and if you don't have that, jalapeno. Oh, okay. So there will be two huge waves, so I didn't realize the zombie it goes from right to left. That's an interesting one, yeah. So as you can see, we're getting close to that first huge wave. And then we'll have some more time before we get to the second huge wave, and then it'll be over. Again, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so humor me on this. Also, this is my very first time ever playing a version outside of the iPhone version. So some things are slightly different. The game on the whole is the same, but like, things are in a different place. So like, for example, the iPhone version, the plants are not up top here. The plants on the shovel are on the left side of the screen. Like, behind all of this. There's more to the screen to the left that uh, these cover up. 
because again, this is kind of like a square screen that I'm stretching. The iPhone version, because it's a rectangular screen, they have basically more visible land. So they had to really preserve all of their vertical space, but they had more than enough horizontal space to work with. So it's just one of those things that they changed to, for a quality of life improvement to make sure that the port was good. And here comes the Zomboni. So he, the Zomboni, as you can see, he is pretty fast. He's actually, like, I think just as fast as the... As the football zombie. So I think he's going to end up killing my repeater if I don't do something about it. So I'll use the squash to crush him, because I don't want him to kill my repeater. And as you can see, that's a, that's a good amount of ice left behind. I think that should be enough to summon a bobsled zombie. Possibly. And as you can see, can't flip the uh, snow pea there. Even the snow pea, who is uh, an icy plant to begin with. That's a no-go. And wow, the ice melted all on its own. I cannot believe that a bobsled zombie did not come from that. Like, truly, I cannot. Maybe you need an even longer trail of ice than that? Well... I'll make sure to show off the jalapeno, because I guarantee another Zomboni will appear for the final wave. And if not, well, there will be more... Here we go. So let's just see how effectively my uh, the Zomboni will... Oh wow, dang! I'm kind of surprised that my plants were able to take out the Zomboni all on their own. Before he was able to reach them. Here's the bobsled zombie! So we're gonna jalapeno them. Boom! Melted all the ice instantly. Squash will destroy the Zomboni. And there we go! And this is a fun new plant to deal with, uh, to play around with as well. This is the Spike Weed. Costs 100 sun, pops tires, and hurts zombies that step on it. So yeah, Spike Weed is quite nice. It's So you plant it on the ground, it'll only damage zombies that step on top of it. And it does, I, I think it has the exact same DPS as a pea shooter. So it doesn't seem like that great. But here's the thing, it will one-hit kill zombonies. And it'll also damage every single zombie that steps on top of it. So if you have like 50 zombies all in one square, and if that squares a spike wheat, it'll be hitting all 50 of those zombies. And you can put this right in front of a, like, walnut, and then the zombies will have to eat the walnut while standing on spike wheat, which will just constantly damage them. So it's a pretty fun point to play around with. But much like the uh, potato mine, it does not work on a lily pad. You cannot put spike wheat on lily pads. So for this level, sunflower... Let's see. I wish you could see how many huge waves there were going to be before you pick the plants. Because if, if it, this is going to be a... No, it's not going to be a short level. This is the second level of the Zomboti. I think it'll be free huge waves. So we definitely want lily pad. Definitely want squash. Jalapeno and spike weed. I'll also bring them on walnut. Snow pea and repeater. Because again, there are some achievements in this game that I want to get, and I don't know if I want to try to get them during adventure mode, or if I want to just do separate levels where it's just like, this level, I'm only going to try to get the achievement. For example, the achievement for beating a pool level without using any aquatic plants like lily pads or tangle kelp. I'm not sure if I should try to do that during adventure mode, because I can do that using free peters, but nah, I think I'll save it for later, because Again, if we save it for later, we'll get more plants that can potentially help us make it easier. Think of how much harder this game would be if the uh, zombies came in at a faster rate than like one at a time at the beginning. You don't have to imagine it, that's what Plants vs. Zombies 2 does. And it becomes brutal. Do, do, 
do do do. Oh, yep, sure enough, three huge waves on this level. So I definitely made the right call not being like, I'm gonna do the no pool rule. Or the no aqua plants rule. Yes, I'm using basically the exact same strategy for every level. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, the, the DPS on the Snoopy is the exact same as the Pea Shooter, but because it slows down the zombie, it means that <laughs> a lower DPS isn't as bad. Mind that, that's just the garage door opening. Once I start getting my repeater, a repeater in every lane, then I'll start putting down walnuts and spike weed. Just to show it off. I'll do it. I'll start doing it now. The walnuts have a slow recharge. And again, if you combine spike wheat walnut with a snow pea, oh dear lord. <laughs> the zombies will basically never be able to destroy the walnut. That's assuming they can even reach the wall to begin with. Also, Spike Weed has a fast recharge, which is nice. <laughs> he looks so weird, though. He's a blur. This? A bucket zombie in the water? Who ever heard of such a thing? Again, I... The plants in this game are just very creative, and there are so many, like, cool combos they can do with the plants synergizing well with each other. Oh, snorkel zombie, hi. Uh... That's not allowed. I should have started laying down the uh, walnuts a little earlier, I suppose. Mr. Squash will wait for you to get close. Kabloom. Alright. I'm gonna put that walnut in the water. Because those snorkel zombies are annoying. I also can't wait for, uh, 
the Zambonis to start getting killed in one hit from the Spike Weed. Because if a Zamboni runs over a Spike Weed, it'll pop their tires and the Zamboni just explodes. So it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, having to walk over Spike Weed slowly because you've been chilled by a Snoopy. Oh, man. It's a horrible fate. I think I'm gonna end up taking- I think I'm gonna have a plant on every single square by the end of this. Well, it, it depends. I am killing fiends very efficiently right now, so... I may not have stuff in the water. Man, where are all them Zombonies? I've got so many surprises for them. Oh wait, I won't have something on every square. I won't have anything on these four squares up there. Yeah, look at this though. Like, if, you, if you're controlling the zombies, like, how, how do you counter this? There's really nothing you can do. Like, the spike weed alone, I think, is basically enough to just take out the weak zombies, the regular zombies. Alright. Final wave, here it comes. Jalapeno, boom! Squash, kill multiple zombies, boom! And here we go. Also, buying the pool cleaners gives you more money at the end of every round, because if you have them a lot, if you still have the pool cleaners around at the end of the level, they give you extra money. We have now a new plant. Torchwood costs 175 sun. Peas that pass through it turn into fireballs. So, yeah, this is pretty impressive. So if you put this in front of a bunch of repeaters, every pea that passes through it turns into a fireball, which deals double damage and deals minor splash damage, which means it'll slightly damage any zombies that are right next to the zombie that it hits. So it's pretty absolutely nuts. There is just one downside to it, though. Like, you might think, wow, putting a repeater down, then putting a torchwood in front of it, just double damage. And if you put a bunch of repeaters behind it, like, it'll slaughter everything. There's one problem, though. One thing you need to keep in mind is that you cannot combine this with snow peas. If, if a frozen pea passes through the torchwood, then it turns into a regular pea. Also, even if you're like, well, that's okay, I'll just put the repeaters behind the torchwood and then the snow peas in front of the torchwood, so it won't get affected. Nope. If a zombie is f slowed down from a snow pea but then gets hit by a fireball, it'll instantly return them to normal. So, we can't use this in combination with snow peas, basically. But, with repeaters, it turns them into absolute monsters. And now we also have a new zombie type on this level, the Dolphin Rider zombie. It's basically the pole vaulting zombie, but aquatic. And it's kind of annoying. So, sunflower, lily pad, squash. Um, Tangle Kelp will be nice for the dolphin rider zombies. Repeater, torchwood. Uh, no zomboni, so no jalapeno, no spike weed. I will get walnut, and I'll get cherry bomb. Cherry bomb's a safe bet. I suppose I could have gone for Potato Mine, but nah. Squash is just fine. I also like how Sunflower is one of those plants that you can plant immediately. You don't have to wait for the initial uh, cooldown. Aw, oh, the Sunflowers are so happy. I love it. I'm gonna preempt that. So the Dolphin Rider zombies are quite annoying because they are fast. Like, they'll jump in the water, they will just scoot right along there and then jump over the first thing they reach, so... Even Walnuts can't really stop them, but again, like Pole Vaulting zombies, after they do their initial jump, they slow down. But also, like Pole Vaulting zombies, they have more HP than you might think. 
Like, they definitely have more HP than a regular old aquatic zombie. Not as much as an aquatic cone zombie, but it's close. Yeah, we are now... Gone are the days of levels only having one huge wave, pretty much. Not entirely, but at this point, every level is going to have two or three huge waves. At least until we get to, like, a new world. I fully expect a lot of Dolphin Rider zombies, and so... Um, I'm putting stuff here in advance. Oh, good. Cone Zombie happened to show up where I had a repeater already. That is one nice thing about the Dolphin Rider zombies. While they pretty much always jump over the first zombie that they reach, they will not, or the first plant that they reach, they will never jump over Tangle Kelp. They will just ride right into the Tangle Kelp and die. gonna waste one of the tangle kelps that was meant for the dolphin rider. Alright, at this point I'll start putting down torchwood because it is... I could accomplish the same thing as torchwood basically just by planting another reap here, but torchwood is slightly cheaper, so I'll put torchwood here. Because there's two huge waves, I'm not anticipating getting more than three lanes of repeaters. So as you can see, look at that. Here comes the pirate captain. So yeah, as you can see, the, the fireballs are hitting that cone zombie, but they're also damaging those zombies down there. Alright, here comes our dolphin rider zombie. Yep, he rides right on into the tangle kelp and dies. And yeah, these zombies are just getting completely toasted. Torchwood is such an interesting plant. Very unique. I feel like I feel like a lot of the time Torchwood is overkill. Because simply put, like, generally a column, if you've got snow peas and repeaters, like that'll accomplish the same thing. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna put torchwood in the water here. And this way dolphin rider zombies, if they show up, they'll jump over the torchwood right into the tangle kelp. And now, nothing in the water will pose any threat to me whatsoever. So yeah, Tangle Cup can be definitely nice for some of these annoying aquatic zombies. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, here's the final wave. I want a cherry bomb. No, my torchwood! <laughs> there we go! And here comes a new plant! Oh, that looks like the walnut, doesn't it? Well, meet Walnut's older brother, Tall Nut. A heavy-duty wall that can't be vaulted over. So it's more than twice the price of the Walnut, but I think it's worth it. Because it has more HP than the Walnut, so it takes longer for the zombies to chew through it. And it stops enemies like Pole Vaulting Zombies and Dolphin Rider Zombies from being able to jump over it. So it's, it's pretty nice. It's a nice barrier. It's a nice alternate to the Walnut. You don't always want it, but there are definitely some times where you're going to want it. So, last main level before the finale... 
of the pool levels anyways. Sunflower, lily pad, squash, tall nut, repeater, torchwood. Let's see. Then I guess I'll also do tangle. No, not tangle kelp. Oh, do we want? No. If we really need to one-hit kill a water a water plant, we can use lily pad and squash. I'll take jalapeno because we have zombonies and spikeweed because we have zombonies. All right, this should be a nice, fun level. I believe this will be a free wave zombie level because this is this is level nine and level ten. The final level of a world, level five and level ten of a world, will always be different. The final level will always be a conveyor belt level, and then level 5 will always be like a minigame level. So we've already had the shrunken zombie minigame. So at the end we're gonna have a pool conveyor belt level, where it'll basically be fend off all the zombies, the new zombie types that appear in the pool levels using the plants that you got in the pool. So we'll be using a lot of free Peters in that next level. And sure enough, yep, three huge waves on this. The squash just looks so mad. The squash looks like that guy, one guy at the gym who's just hyper focused on, like, working out. <laughs> just like, must bench press 500 pounds. <sighs> he even sounds like the guy who was bench pressing all that weight. Alright, so far so good. This will be a great level for- okay. So here's my plan. Uh, Tall Nuts will go here, Torchwood will go there, and then we'll have repeaters all behind them. So yeah, Tall Nuts. I'll put the Tall Nuts here in the water so that way no nobody can pop up above it. In fact, I should start putting the Tall Nuts down now. Because again, I want a Tall Nut in every lane and they have a slow recharge. Look at how huge they are. They're great. Pole vaulting zombie. No problem. Brains. Because my repeater's far enough backwards, or behind, he'll be able to deal with it. Prioritizing putting them in the water first, because I want to deal with those stupid Dolphin Rider zombies. You may not think of it, but the Dolphin Rider zombies are really annoying. Like, they really are. They're so fast, and they can bypass a bunch of your plants if you're not careful. Now we've started on the Torchwood. Putting them here and here first because of the splash damage that will affect the zombies nearby. Splash damage is a little better. Ooh! A little better in these middle lanes because it can affect zombies in the lane above and below. Oh, oh. oh no! They made it past! How dare you! Boom! I thought that I would be able to have them eat the tall nut instead. Nope, they had already gotten past that square. Rats. Looks like we need a torchwood here. Ooh, wait. Again. 
tall nuts because of their slow recharge. I'm gonna take priority for that. No! Doggone it! That is two torchwoods do not make the fire the fireballs any more powerful. By the way. Oh, thank goodness I was able to kill that guy before he vaulted over the torchwood. I mean, he still would have died anyways, but if something gets past the torchwood, then, um, it'll block the shot, it'll block the peas and take longer for us to be able to turn fireballs into the tent, hit the zombies behind them. Yep, denied. You can't jump over something that tall. Alright, we need... More repeaters in the water, I guess. Alright, there's our final tall nut. There we go. Now we can focus on building up our repeater army. And spike weed, I suppose, is also an option. Yeah, I'll put a spike weed right there. Just for you. Alright, we're on the second huge wave, so we really need to start building up more repeaters. Because every repeater we build is twice as good now. Actually, slightly more than twice as good. Because of that splash damage. Yeah, look, even two repeaters with a fireball charge could not kill the Dolphin Rider zombie before they reached here. And as you can see, the Tall Nut's already starting to take some damage. Oh. If you thought peas were dangerous, well, peas on fire are a lot more so. Oh, yeah, and remember how Crazy Dave sells Gatling peas that shoot four peas at a time? Okay. Probably should have used the squash there instead. Squash would have been cheaper. Oh, well. Yeah, like, look at that. Dolphin Rider zombies have way more HP than I think they should have. Alright, here comes the final wave. Gotta get that last repeater in place. Just like so. Pop your tires on that spike weed. Not where I wanted to put the jalapeno. Wanted to put it on the lily pad. Fine. Squash will do the job. Alright, here comes the note. Hello, we heard you are having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. Oh boy. Here we go. It's the finale of the pool party. Ready, set, plant! So this is a level where because we get free Peters on the conveyor belt, they're actually very good. Because again, they don't cost us anything, and they do hit over a wide area. But I would never really voluntarily bring them. Okay, can I get another free Peter? There's a zombie down here that needs to take him care of. Okay, jalapeno is good, but I don't want to waste the jalapeno on one zombie. I already anticipate I'll need to use a jalapeno on this guy. Maybe not. Oh, never mind.
again, plant them here, so that way they're... Plant them either here or in the middle, but I like planting them here, because this way... They hit every single lane. These, if they're in this lane, they hit the top three lanes, and if they're in this lane, they hit the bottom three lanes. I'm gonna put some tall nuts in the water to block those dolphin rider zombies. Good music. Save the Tingle Kelp for any uh, uh, scuba zombies, the snorkel zombies. Put, put lily pads back there. You know, in case we get more, uh, more free Peters. Oh, there we go. I've been waiting for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Now we'll start putting the free Peters in the water. Thank you for giving me these gems. It is greatly appreciated. There we go. I'd actually like to preserve my, uh... I'd like to preserve my spike weeds. Well, if you're just going to appear there, then sure. Oh, wow. These Zombonis mean business. Boom! That was a lot of Zombonis. My goodness. Oh, wow. Another one. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. I don't really want Tangle Kelp, so I guess I'll waste them. Replenish that tall nut. Can I get another, uh, some more Torchwood, please? That's not another Torchwood. I want a Torchwood right there. I mean, I'm also happy with Free Peters. They're great, but... There we go. I would still like more Torchwood, though. Oh, wow. We have so much firepower now that the Zombonis are getting... can get destroyed before they even hit the, uh, the spike beat. At least depending on what lane that they're in. I want the I want Torchwood to go there. I actually kinda need more lily pads. Uh-oh. I forget I have jalapenos. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, here we go. Also, fun fact, if you're playing the iPhone version, if you had enough peas getting turned into fireballs and hitting zombies, it would literally cause the game to lag. Ah uh, ha, you are so done now. Torchwood in every lane.
Alright. Oh, wow. We, we sure showed them. Alright, that's the pool levels over with. That was intense, but our free Peters and Torchwood just laid everything to waste. And here we get a new plant, the Sea Shroom, an aquatic plant that shoots short-range spores. So this is basically the Puff Shroom, but it's an aquatic plant, so you can plant it without the uh, need of water. So, as you can guess, the pool levels are going to turn to night now, which so the Sea Shroom could be helpful. However, there is one big issue with the Sea Shroom, and I'll get into that next time, but we have now cleared three of the five worlds in the game. Yeah, there are only five worlds in this game. So next we're going to the pool at night, which is probably my, which is definitely my least favorite world, and pretty much everybody's least favorite world. It's not super fun, and the plants that we get in this world aren't terribly great. But that's okay, because we'll still have fun doing it anyways. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Next time, well, we'll be exploring the new world and taking the Sea Shroom out for a spin. So that'll be interesting. So look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.